So Ross, obviously it's not the best result for the shots out there this afternoon. Um, what are your thoughts after that one? Uh, not the best result, not the best performance, I don't think. Um, we were, um, we lacked a bit of fight and, and we looked soft in the first half and um, I thought we were very lucky to come in um, at 1-0. Mm. Um, so in that respect, we, we had had some, something to still play for. Um, to then come out in the second half, be better, um, score, um, and then have an opportunity to make a game of it and then to just really fold was probably the best way of describing it. Um, the um, the goals weren't good enough, we conceded obviously, we conceded obviously a carbon copy of Dagenham, but um, it's, it's up to us to fix it, up to us to staff to fix that, so that's where we've got to work on it. You say about that, you know, that there was that 15 minute spell after half time, where the, you know, the players did look really good, they looked like they wanted to get back in the game and they did, really good goal, um, some really good play as well, but I think we were just hit on the counter, well, not on the counter, you know, but we were just hit down by those goals really, weren't we? Yeah, and the mis they are mistakes and, and they're absolutely on me and it's my responsibility, like I said, to fix it and um, for whatever reason we, we come through these away games and we were really good at sort of Solival and Bromley and, and against Chesterfield where, where we don't have much of the ball and for whatever reason when we come and have more of the ball which is which again is on me um, we look we look our distance is a little bit bigger and, and we look a little bit more vulnerable so we've got to fix that I've got to fix that and, and, and I'll certainly I'm a big believer in, in being hard to beat and we certainly weren't that today and, and like I said it falls on my head and I, I'll be um uh, looking to fix that over the obviously we got a bit a bit, bit more time next week so we look to fix that over the next week. Yeah, exactly. As you say, it's been a very very long run and tough run of Saturday, Tuesdays and games within short span of time with each other. So we do have that opportunity now this week to kind of reassess everything and and, and not you know start again almost. Um, yeah, I mean, God, it's difficult because you go through these results and 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 what was working before was working and. What's working? What's what's happening now? Obviously, is it working? But but you need to maybe you do need to stick at it, and you do need to stay try and remain a, a level of calm and confidence within it. But ultimately, um, we've lost, I believe, three in a row and and three in a week even. So it's not good good reading. It's not good to see, and and, and it puts you in a bad form and a sort of negative spin. So you need to get out of it quick, and and we need to work hard as staff and players to get out of it as fast as we can. And like I knew this for these four games would be tough. Um, but I am still disappointed, or really disappointed, to get to the end of it and only have one point to show for it. And um, I would have expected a lot, lot more going into it, and we haven't quite been able to do that. So we've got, we've got to, we've got to write that, and we've got to fix it, and we've got it, we've got to get at it. Really. Thank you. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.